Hey My Toy and book friends. Today I have a book haul. Um, I've been trying to clean my room up here and part of what is preventing that is this big pile of books I have in the floor. I've been waiting to film a book haul and just so you know it, it's mostly horror. That's what I like to read. I know I have this candy colored pastel vibe most of the time but I also struggle to pay attention when I'm reading and horror books just seem to hold my attention really well I enjoy them um, working in the psychology field life can be really heavy and reality can be very horrific sometimes in my experience and reading horror is kind of an escape for me so with that being said if you are not a fan of horror or scary things in general go ahead do me a favor click off i don't want to upset anyone i don't want to trigger anyone and let's get into the haul so the first thing i have i found this clive barker books of blood volume 2 paperback and i believe i found this at southern bound books but i'm not sure so all these were thrifted um, you've probably seen them in my thrift hauls, but I've been compiling them to do a specific book haul. Uh, I got another Clive Barker here. I don't know how to say this, but it is, uh, book one, apparently. And there he is. <laughs> All right. A little bit of true crime. We've got an Anne Rule. This is worth more dead. I read a couple of Anne Rules last year, so I'm excited to read more. Uh, and here's another one, The Lust Killer. So last year I read the I-5, I want to say I-5. I read The Stranger Beside Me first and then the I-5. Terrible, terrible people. Um, but I love Anne Rule. I feel like the way that she presents it is very straightforward um, with compassion towards the victims. And also um, the information, at least in those two, was presented in a way that was respectful of the victims, which you don't see a lot in true crime um, people get caught up in the details and it just ends up being disrespectful and I don't like that Ray Bradbury something wicked this way comes this is an Avon one so let's see how old she is uh, 1997 got an Agatha Christie Lady Agatha sleeping murder and it says, uh, Miss Marple's Last Case. I haven't read any Agatha Christie, so I'm excited for that whenever I finally get to it. Uh, the Confession, plus a bonus masterpiece of suspense, Sight Unseen. Mary Roberts Reinhardt. Uh, I don't know anything about this other than it looks spooky and it's a zebra. Got a John Saul here. This one's Nathaniel. I picked up this really beautiful paperback edition of Frankenstein. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. And while we're sticking to the classic horror, I picked up this really cool copy of Dracula. Um, what makes this so exciting is I'm pretty sure that's Bela Lugosi on the cover. I've never seen that before. Um, and this one is a Scholastic. This is the abridged version. Yeah, it says Scholastic Book Services. Uh, copyright 1971. Um, and it looks like this is the fourth printing, so. Apparently they made a lot of those. I've, I've never seen that before, though, with Bela on the cover. All right, we got a Christopher Pike. Um, it looks like this is a Christopher Pike for grown-ups. Uh, the Season of Passage. Definitely giving those um, young reader Christopher Pike vibes with the colors and the artwork this one is a tour but yeah it looks like this one is for adults <sighs> getting a little trashy here vc andrews flowers in the attic it's a classic and then also william johnstone this one is cat's eye look at that cover got an ann rice here cry to heaven i don't know if this is in the um, Witches series or the Interview with the Vampire series. 
I read the first few books of the Vampire series, Interview with the Vampire, Vampire Lestat, Queen of the Damned, that series. Um, I don't know if that one is a standalone or if it's part of the series. Uh, this one's not particularly horrific. I mean, kind of. Think about it if you've read the book. Uh, Miss Peregrine's, this is the movie cover. So I wanted that for my collection. I have most of them. I'm not sure if I have all of them. But I have read that one. I actually liked the movie better, which usually isn't the case with books. But yeah, um, maybe because it was Tim Burton and I just love him so much. More five minute mysteries. Um, I got this one pretty recently. I think it was in a pretty recent haul. So I don't think it was in the pile for very long. Yeah, copyright 1991. I think this would be a good one to have in the car. Because sometimes I'll have um, a little bit of downtime in between deliveries. Hopefully I won't be doing that much longer since I got my degree. Hey! But since a college degree doesn't automatically equate to a windfall of money, I'm still a delivery person. So I like to keep a book in the car to read in between deliveries. All right, we've got Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Now last year I read The Fireman and I really, really loved it. Um, I don't know if this is similar or if I will like it as much, but I'll certainly give it a try because um, Fireman was one of my five-star reads for last year. A little bit of silliness, sense and sensibility, and sea monsters. I could not. I really hope this is like a monster romance because I love a good monster romance. Okay. In the same vein as Christopher Pike, we've got an R.L. Stein for grown-ups. It says, the stunning adult and they underlined it. <laughs> Fiction debut of the best-selling author. And this is superstitious. And, and there's the man himself. So I collect Goosebumps and I collect Stephen King books. Um, I collect lots of lots of books, actually. I collect Nancy Drews, Hardy Boys. Um, and then a lot of young horror and also vintage horror paperbacks, as you see. So there's a lot of Stephen King and a lot of R.L. Stein on my shelves. Speaking of Stephen King, I've got this hardcover of Dean McKee. Um, I also have the hotter paperback of this one. I'm only missing a couple of the hotter paperbacks to have what I believe is all of them, but I'm not sure. And then another Stephen King, we've got Mr. Mercedes hardcover. And then the Regulators. Um... I'm not sure if these are first editions, but they look like them. Okay, and then another R.L. Stein, Dangerous Girl. I'm not sure if this one is for adults or if this is a YA, but I'm really excited to read R.L. Stein that's not Goosebumps or Point Horror or, you know, young reader books. Got this Book of Vampires. It just looked cool. Uh, apparently this person has, has written, or this company has written a few other quirky books like this. Um, it says this, the book of vampires is the first serious study of vampirism in the English language. It assembles reports of vampires from all ages and from all countries and discusses various theories of vampirism. So that sounds like a good time. Uh, 1987. What a great year. This is the year I was born. Okay. Uh, more humor. We've got You Suck by Christopher Moore. Um, and I want to say the sequel to this is, or this is the sequel to Blood Sucking Fiends, or that's the sequel to this one. I don't know. There's You Suck and Blood Sucking Fiends. I don't know what order they're in, um, but I read both of them. And they're, they're pretty silly. Vampire, like horror comedies, like, uh, John Dies at the End. A lot like that. John Dies at the End might be a little bit more graphic. Okay, um, got the Hazelwood paperback. I already had the hardcover. I loved this one. I have all three books, um, so I was excited to get the paperback. Okay, another Stephen King. We've got the Diary of Ellen Rimbauer. Um, and this was an exciting find because not too long after I found the DVD or I found the DVD and the book. I don't know. But I have both of them. So I'm very excited about that. Because I really enjoyed 
that one. I read it, I think I was in high school, and the TV miniseries was on, which is the DVD. So We've got Pulp Fictions. Just uh, some Pulp Stories. I guess there's one by Stephen King, so that's exciting. Just looked cool. I picked it up. Um, I love to look at Pulp novel covers. That's one of my favorite things to search on Pinterest, like old horror covers and pulp novel covers. I just think the artwork is so cool. So this is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I think that's how you say that. Sorry if I butchered it. Um, I think I got this one from the library sale. It doesn't have the jacket. The copyright is 1938. I don't know which printing this is. It doesn't say. Um, maybe it's from like a mystery readers or book of the month or something and then another one that's missing the cover is rosemary's baby and i'm a little bit afraid to read this thomas harris red dragon I'm excited for that one and it looks like a very old edition i don't know if it's a first printing let's see it says also by him is Black Sunday, so maybe this is pretty early in his career. Uh, the copyright on this one is 1981. So maybe. I don't know. Looks pretty old. Found this book, Welcome to Night Vale. Um, it was giving me Buffy vibes. One of the blurbs is from Will Wheaton, so that's pretty cool. Hey, Ayla, if you're still watching. This looked like a good time. I think it's like a... You know, kind of like Buffy, like a town that has weird vibes. I can't remember. I I read it in the store, like read the synopsis or whatever. Thought it was worth picking up forever ago. So that's here. Another Anne Rice. We've got the tale of the body thief. And it does say that this one is in the Vampire Chronicles. So that's cool. Oh, you know, she died a couple of years ago or a year ago. She's, Anne's not here anymore, so it's nice to have her books. And then I got these two, like, time life of books, if you will, The Unexplained. Um, we've got Mysteries of Mind, Space, and Time, number six and seven. So, you know, it's like a book version of Unsolved Mysteries, I guess. That's cool. So we've got Irish Lake Monsters just right off the bat and alchemy so yeah that sounds fun and just as a bonus i got a couple of tv dvds here besides rose red um and you've probably seen these in my thrift hauls so i'm sorry if this is repetitive return of the living dead and the halloween tree and i love this i rented this we had a little um corner store down the street from where i lived in my little little town that i grew up in and they had like a small section of movies that they would rent. And I remember this was there and I rented it quite frequently. Okay. 13 minutes. Wow. I managed to get it in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, this is a big old pile of books. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this. Let me know what do you like to read. Let me know what you liked, what you thought. Have you picked up any cool books lately? I'd love to know about it. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Remember... The world's a better place with you here in it, and you matter. By the way, whether you read horror, romance, it doesn't matter. Please read. It's good for you. I like you just the way you are, no matter what you read. Have a good one, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!